Welcome back to another VFX tutorial and this time I thought let's do some fancy schmancy stuff because I played this game Fury Unleashed and what you're seeing in front of you is not the game this is just a little bit fakery of mine but of course I wanted to copy uh, some of that style so basically what you're seeing on the screen this thing this loot box or this card unlock whatever you want to call it this a graphical thing well I did it by myself so this is not part of the game it could be because it does look like it it is not this is my stuff and I'm gonna show you how you can actually copy that thing because it is not too difficult of course they use some shaders which I'm not gonna use here because um, I make it let's say it as easy as possible for you guys but the rest so it does look professional or semi-professional in my case so I can actually show you this thing because it wasn't too difficult to copy of course and it took me about three hours so it's not that easy but of course if you want to reproduce this uh, your own style or maybe you want to get some insight how you can actually do this because it's not too complicated stay tuned this is one up indie I am the developer of the indie game clunky swords and a programmer slash pixel art so if you are new here and you definitely definitely want more consider subscribing to my channel because i try to upload every second day every day a video what else because this is youtube so um yeah sharing my stuff would be sweet as well so what you're seeing in front of you is a thing which is consisting of multiple parts because it's not that easy so basically i'm having uh, here a screenshot so this is just the background being stretched and then i just put in one object which i call where well, you loot box you can call it whatever you like and then we just put it in and then it is not too complicated because it just draws a couple of things so first of all there are two ease functions so if you don't know what ease functions are uh, well a link in the description below because they just let things go from one value to the other one of course if we go into the newer version of game maker studio 2.3 if it's officially out then i guess those ease functions won't be that necessary so you want to do want to, you will not have to deal with uh, the coding i guess you can do that easier with a graph so but uh, let's be surprised about this and of course the ease functions need to roll so therefore i need to put them into the step so basically it can change the values and one is for glowing and one is for scaling so once again if we start there are two things which i am drawing here so first of all this guy is getting bigger and smaller and then the background as you can see it has a light pulse this is the glow part and therefore i need to ease functions and then i just draw that stuff and of course it looks kind of subtle and therefore i have a grid which is not necessary so as you can see just white squares and well nothing in between and that i reproduce because it's 64 by 64 then i have a nice background and it definitely looks quite subtle so for example if you're uh, video looking or uh, watching this video at a higher fidelity you will see that it has this nice little grid in the background and this of course looks a little bit finer and i, I actually like how that is and therefore i just make it a, a double whopper loop and then i just give it 0 0.8 and then of course a nice vignette since we don't know what vignettes are hey? link in the description below once again i'm not going to repeat how you can actually recreate that thing and that thing is just being drawn and stretched to fill the whole screen so bam, bye bye and here we come to the more interesting part now we come to the whole how the card is being set up let's go to photoshop because here we actually have that thing so it consists of multiple parts and for example one thing is one top is just the chest it is not needed i uh, just thought it looks kind of cool so this was just basically uh, like this so this is what I wanted to copy of course here I won't be copying the the ease function for those um, question marks but I wanted to have this effect of the glowing in the background of course here they use a bloom uh, uh, yeah a bloom shader 
which I definitely cannot do, but this thing is coming forward and, and backwards and this looks pretty cool so I like the way it is. Of course here the rest is static and I didn't do this uh, well fading out thing because I thought this is not necessary. Of course it looks cool, I didn't want to do it, I just made, wanted to create my own style and therefore I'm having multiple parts which consist first of all of just the background. So let's kill that all. So basically this is just the background here with a text. Then we have a nice glow which we put over here and then we let it fade in and out. There's of course an alternative which is stronger. So here you can just play around. Of course patrons get access to this whole project so you can play around. I cannot give you the mask and the chest because I bought them. So this is copyrighted stuff. The rest, all of that, so the planet, all the other stuff I made myself or I used some texture. So this is basically free CC0, no problem here. And then well, we put on well, the mask, which we're gonna scale, the chest, and then a bottom area, which is for now just static things. So basically you can do nothing with it. So how did I start? And of course some background stuff, which is the vignette. And if we zoom in a little bit, here you can see a fine, fine grid, which definitely looks good. And what I just did, I just uh, well made some dots and then multiplied them and then I created a structure. So this is extremely easy to copy. And even though, for example, you just, I just use it as a background. It looks cool. I really like how the, this grid is looking in the end. Okay, this is too big. 150. Yeah, how about that? Okay, this is of course looking better. So let's go and try to copy all that stuff. So these of course are pre-designed things which I cannot um, well give you. But we can actually start with the background. So what I just did, first of all, I wanted to make a frame. So this is this thing here. And I just made a white, well, frame. <laughs> and then if you go into so right mouse button on um, filling options, then you just have um, this is not padding. How is that called in English? It is called, I forgot how it's called. It is um, margin. Yeah. And then you just give it a margin, let's say of three because then in and black because if you give it a margin as you can see it will round it out so it looks like a comic so here let's zoom back then the next thing which i wanted to do is that thing so this looks this is kind of an interesting fact to the right or left side so basically what i just did i made uh, i took this guy here with so the brush and made two points <laughs> I cannot. Okay, uh, ah, because it's the same color. So I made one, two, then one with a six. And then, well, I copy pasted them and then I made this structure. So basically, this is the same. I made all this stuff by myself. So this is wow, kind of easy to copy. And then I, well, did this. No, no, no. Not a problem. So we got the side. Then I wanted to make some nice font because the font is kind of important how it looks like. And this one is called Bangers. This is actually quite, quite uh, good for that. And here I just wrote what I wanted to have. And then of course right mouse uh, button and then uh, here mixing it again. Then of course give it some margin here. Six so it's really fat. So of course you can give it bigger ones. but. It does need to look good. Then give it some gradient overlay, which is kind of interesting. So I have different ones, so for example, yellow. And they are, for example, if I would go in here, the, they just have two to three colors. Bam, no problem. Of course, you need to make them by yourself. But these colors, uh, well, look like a comic. And then, well, this is how I do this. Not a problem. And then, of course, after we made our side and uh, uh, frame, then what else do we need to have? Of course, I took a planet in. This just looks like this. But if you 
give it some once again to the effects if you give it some overlay which is again the same gradient which i use for the for the font here of course not as strong because if you do it too much well then the planet will lose its planet looking like um, thing and then shine draußen this is just basically glow which is kind of hard so here i wanted to give it some glow to the outside of course not too much because then it will overlay the frame which i don't want so it appears really really nice as a background prop of course if you don't want it to be as dominant you can put it a little bit in the background this is of course the thing you can have and then i wanted to have it a little bit look nice and therefore i just said hey in comics a lot of times you just have this these dots everywhere so once again i made one two three four five dots multiplied them bam and then gave it some transparency 20 percent or whatever and then they look nice as a background so call that here i just took a texture because sometimes you want to have um, something which is not like one color you want to have it some let's call it a, a changing pattern so basically what i did i just took this guy here uh, well, made it a little bit smaller and then overlaid it like the planet once again with the same color here so bam and then i do a glow to the inside and for example if you don't have this then well it will just be a gradient but maybe you want to have this thing in the inside and then you say hey 46 or whatever and as you can see this gradient looks pretty neat and then of course you adjust it however you want it so depending on what kind of opacity you want to have and how big it is and then bam it looks pretty neat as a kind of a shadow inside so it appears uh, more plastic and more beautiful because in the end all those gradients here and there and, and, and all that stuff in the one combination just looks quite beautiful so this is the next thing so basically i just took the pattern here so this structure how can you actually call it this is uh, a texture yeah so this is a texture most of them are free so for example this one cc0 so if you are uh, looking for this kind of stuff just type in in google textures and free to download of course some are not free some are free so just check it out where where you get this one from then those dots with a little of uh, with some not too much opacity so then the planet bam frame then the side stuff and then the text and then we already have our first thing ready which is the mask or, or the kind of the background and of the, on that you can basically just put in lots of other stuff if you like so for example if you're just having the mask you're having other things as props so for example you're collecting something then you can use that thing for reddish kind of um, objects or unlocks or whatever and then ba basically bam you can change that up later on for example you can make everything blue and then use another planner or just use another gradient so for example you can actually do this for example here we could actually use the bluish gradient for the planet or the greenish bam no problem so here are the <laughs> yeah but this doesn't look good so this, these are then the options because then you can actually uh, you reuse the asset for more things then the next thing which i wanted to have is a glow here um this is not too complicated so basically i just did with a gradient or with the masking depending how you want to have it so for example um how you can actually do those uh, beams and the glow part i did in another video so i'm not gonna go into that again link in the description basically i just do some gradients and then i say hey for example here they are cut out on the frame so here they just end on the frame so you can so they cannot get out and then of course this is the alternative one no no glow regular one and then well i made some kind of lights emanating because i want to have the chest and then from the chest pew, uh some light is emanating because that thing is important so i thought hey this looks pretty cool so for example if we go back in here 
as you can see hopefully um no no yes yes so here you're having the area which is for the user interface so you can actually change something something is animating then you have some display information about the cost then the thing which it actually is because it's a chest and then of course a character which is just telling you something or the prop which you're getting so here this is the way which inspired me how to take it and this is of course from the game this is basically from the game and this is how it looks one to one so this is a screenshot and, and what you saw earlier is basically a very close adaptation of course not the same but hey not gonna clone in, in everything one to one and then of course you have this guy which is coming uh, closer and, and further and this is for the ease function and then the background you have this nice uh, reddish color which is being uh, used with the bloom so it pops out even more and then of course a little text as a overhead so this is the idea and of course the bottom area quite easy to do so basically what i just did here i made a rectangle which was black and then filled it up with a well black color and then put it through a filter which was the gaussian blur and then of course then you have this feathering which or this kind of gradient into nothingness so this fading out which definitely looks nice and then here bam i created um well a structure like here this this was easy and of course if you're thinking ah those dots here they look familiar because they are i just did the same thing and then i put in an I just repeated those two things here so one two three four and then one two three and then bam again i created the same stuff and then i made a rectangle over them and so they appear to be uh well a button so and it actually fits fits um, the same thing so i recycled kind of the stuff which i used for the background so basically this is the same stuff here so recycling sometimes not a bad idea and then well i put in this thing which is again a board icon but hey uh, they prep up the whole thing and then i put all of that stuff together so basically the where do we have it the bottom area the glow even though maybe a hard one if you like then the props then the frame and then of course for the background so that so this is just basically for here so you can see it and then the end effect is kind of looking professional if i uh <laughs> if i could say so this is the thing and this is the basically what i do i put in first the card here so basically my loot box or whatever you want to call that just a planet font bam and of course if you just have like 15 of them this is not an issue of course if you have like say 150 then of course you need to make it a little bit more elaborate this is just putting a few parts together and this is basically it then we have the glow which is here i'm using the the stronger one so it will um, well, fade into stronger one and then uh, my mask this is just the thing and here you need to because everything is aligned at the top left here this one is aligned in the center why because well i'm using an ease function where i scale it up so this is image x scale and y scale which is getting upscaled by the ease function here in the step event and therefore you need to align it in the center so it scales correctly from the center because if i would be do, doing that from the top left it would definitely look strange so here i just needed to adapt some values in this position uh, y and x once again these are just values which are put in at the start this is of course you need to adjust it to your camera and whatsoever but here this is just for demonstration purposes and then the next thing draw on top of that the bottom part which is absolutely static there's nothing in there i could even animate that and made those things uh, single buttons so for example with the hover over and all, all that stuff but i thought no, of course you can do this but then this uh, this is starting to get even more modular and then the video would be longer and longer which i didn't want to and then of course the last thing is the chest which we put on top 
And therefore, for example, if you're having different chests and different stuff, you can like swap these things out if you like. And of course the rest, once again, double loop for the grid, a vignette, and then once we start it, it does look like a semi-professional game. So here at the background, so for example here, let's go into the room. So this is just once again, screenshot of the game. And then we just put in our instance, very, 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 very small. The room is pretty big, by the way. So this stuff is quite huge. So as you can see, the proportions are 1000, uh, well, 1920 by 1080. So basically this is already for, for some monitors or for most, uh, the maximum value you can actually put in. So that thing is huge. But if you have huge things, of course you can do more and then your fidelity is better and a lot of these things are just looking neater and nicer because then well, glows, radiance and everything which you want to have, all the shenanigans, all the fancy schmancy stuff which you want to put in, of course it looks definitely neater, but then maybe you need to have let's say um, some graphics if you want to display them uh, with, with a higher fidelity as well. Then once again, we go we go in here. This is it. We have this nice, really strong glow. And this one is pulsing with a different speed. So this one is going faster. And this one is going smaller. And the values are quite, quite small. So for example, for the, um, for the mask, for the scaling, this is like tiny, tiny from uh, 0.98 to 1.02. So basically this is just, um, 0 0.04 of, of a difference between uh, the scale and then we do that for a longer duration which is three seconds or well yeah three seconds so basically uh, one cycle going up and then one cycle going back um, there and back then we have six seconds or I don't know yeah so this was it and for, for the glow I don't go for for example we can actually try that for one but i guess this is just overkill and then we make it let's say not even a full second just 40 steps so under as you can see this looks a little bit too hard there and therefore i needed to adjust it a little bit and make it smaller so hopefully that gave you an insight for example if you like the design part of um, the of making games and you prefer well, doing this, these things take lots of time because there's lots of fine tuning there. But in the end, you get a really beautiful design. And once, for example, you do that two, three, five times, then get the hang of it. And then, of course, you can create even more and greater things. And I must say, if people see this, for example, in contrast to my old actually we can actually go oh no let's not go in here uh <laughs> maybe another time i can show you the my first design and then the second one then you of course see yeah that looks definitely superior so hopefully that was of interest to you and once again patrons you can get you get the whole project besides the mask and the chest which is and the coin uh, which i cannot give you i'm sorry but this is board stuff i cannot uh, share that but the rest is of course free uh, you get it as a project. So that was pretty much it. Have a good one. Wanna Bindi.